Corset. 2020 sealed. We got 11,000 gems. How much are these? 2,000? Oh, it's making new noises, too. I don't like the look of the boosters. Eh. Let's roll. Open them up. What do we get? Uh, okay, we got a temple. This guy looks interesting. Eight mana. Oh, boy. He's pretty dominating if you can cast him. He's eight mana. Dungeon Geist is great. Uh, bag holding, probably playable and sealed. A bit of a looter. Yeah. All right, an ex slow and expensive looter, but a looter all the same. And then Flood of Tears. Uh, so, symmetrical board bouncer, and you can uh, maybe put some big thing of yours into play. And then we've got Masterful Replication, which is probably playable, but it's not like exciting. Six mana, instant make. Two, three, three golems. All right. Well, this seems like blue is kind of where we want to go here. Pretty excited by Flood of Tears. Well, we'll see. All right. Cards that would make me excited to play their color. I've, I've always liked God's Willing. Uh, let's turn off auto lands. I've always uh, liked God's... Oh, no. I should do this again. Suggest lands. There we go. Now turn them off. Now we go back to this. I've always liked God's Willing and Theros Block when it was originally printed. Giving creature protection is actually a pretty powerful effect and for a single white mana, so that's interesting. Uh, cards that make me want to play these colors. Uh, well, I only have a single Battalion Foot Soldier, so that's probably not great. Uh, nope. 3-2 Vigilance. Eh, that card's okay. Excuse me. It's for your captain. It's fine. And yeah, okay. Not exciting for white. Can we sort by color here? No. Blue, we got unsummon anticipate. Uh, flash like Murpho Trickster, you know, what is Ambush Viper, Flash 2 1. We got Cerulean Drake, sort of a protection from red creature. Uh, this guy, a lot of crappy little flyers. We've got a couple of negates. Alright, here's a card I like. I like drawing cards. Convolute. Portal of Sanctuary. Color artifact. Turn. Oh yeah, this is like a weird blinking thing. Not too exciting. This is a, uh, just divination. Well, maybe divination's good. We got the, the geists. Expensive claustrophobia. We got air elemental. We got flooded tears. I've always liked frilled sea serpent in some of these slower formats. Masteral replication and then scholar for ages. So yeah, I like all the expensive cards in blue, but the cheaper stuff not so much. All right, black. I've got oh, I like one mana, one one death touch. Uh, Blade brand is probably also decent. Two mana, two two blood burglar. Probably good. I want to get into the next page. What's this? Audacious Thief. Three mana. Oh, yeah. Okay, we got some Mind Rots. Murder. Murder's good. At common now, too. The Duress Art unnerves you. That's classic. Uh, four mana. Uh, that seems good. Bone Clad Necromancer. Yeah. Cure. Could be decent. Maybe Villas is playable, but eight mana. That's a lot of mana. Hey, <laughs> Gab Tools. Yeah, I'm I'm doing a little bit of fan service. The people, you find people are probably more interested in Corset 2020 than more Modern Horizons. We're going to be playing this one sealed deck of Corset 2020. Then I'm going back to Magic Gathering Online with, with Modern Horizons. But I got a... Oh, yes, Modern. Well, that's the other thing is I'm waiting... I haven't really... I've, I've observed Modern from afar, but I'm not... I'm kind of waiting on the Banner Restricted announcement, which will happen on Monday, to really dive deep into it. It doesn't give me a lot of time to prepare afterward, but uh, YOLO. Basically, uh, I think I am getting valid preparation, not from Course of 2020 Sealed, but from the Modern Horizons draft portion, and uh, hope the uh, I'm hoping that the bad <laughs> restricted announcement drastically changes the format. Uh, what do we got here? Infuriate, just like Gab Tools is infuriating me. That one's okay. We got Chandra's Ember Cat. Two mana, two, two. Eh. Fry. 
Uh, this card's a pretty powerful effect. Maniacal Rage, not so much. Pack Mastiff, playable. I'm looking for the cards that draw me in, really. Destructive Digger. You can start sacking your lands to draw cards later in the game. Eh, that's interesting. We got the M Cage Fury. Double Strike is always powerful. <laughs> Levikin Brawler, 2 4. Mm, no? Three of those. Bridge and Allosaurus Rider. Yeah, there's quite a few potential things they could ban. Fire Elemental, Rapacious Dragon, which. I uh, <laughs> wasn't sure about that word, rapacious. I thought it may relate to the more vile act, but apparently it means uh, particularly greedy and hoarding of gold, which makes sense given the art and, and whatnot. Uh, yeah, there's been a pr there's a, there's a prior rapacious card, I think in what's it called Rise Del Drowsy that I just took for granted meant the other one, but uh, yeah, it means they're just greedy. That's fine. Uh, five mana, three three flyer. Yeah, okay. It gets a. I think treasure tokens is the mana producing one, so it kind of gives you a discount or a rebate on some of the mana you've invested in it. But obviously not the upfront cost. Dragon mage, all the dragons, seven mana. Oh, wheel of fortunes if you uh, connect. Interesting. There's some expensive cards in this format. Healer of glade, no. Oh, it's a very... I got, like, all the hate cards here. I could be doing a lot of sideboarding. Although, is Sealed best of one? I can't remember if Sealed is best of one in, in Magic Arena here. Which is particularly brutal. <laughs> uh, it's particularly brutal that they printed all these powerful sideboard cards in Corsa 2020, and the only venue I'll ever play Corsa 2020 is more than likely going to be on Magic Arena, where Ranked Draft is best of one, and possibly also Sealed is. I digress. I don't have to complain about best of one much longer. We've got a Rabbit Bite. Rabbit Bite's great. Gift of Paradise. Probably an interesting. Brightwood Tracker. Six mana. Look at the top four. Maybe you'll put it under your hand. Eh, it's okay. And sealed. Two, four bodies. Okay. Four, three. Sure. Uh, probably don't want too many of those silverbacks, but silverbacks great. The Versed Claw. Six mana, seven, seven. And Howling Giant. Seven mana. Oh, this card's also pretty powerful. Jeez, they, uh... There's really a lot of incentive to play expensive things. Here we are into the gold stuff. Got a Tranquil Cove. Uh, this card's good. We've got a Corpse Knight. Yeah, that's fine. Two mana, two, two. And then we've got Green Black Land, Green Black Land. Bag of Holding, which we saw before. Vial of Dragon Fire, which we might play. And then this Pinger. Um, three damage... Three mana to ping. Yeah, it could be interesting. And maybe vile. Okay, how do we... Okay. I wish there's a way to sort by color. Unless there is, and I'm I'm old old and forgot things. So there's some corpse, corpse knights that are printed in across the globe as a 2-3 instead of a 2-2. Two -two. That must have been a late change to the f card file or something. That's interesting. There, that's happened in the past with, like, I don't know, the Portuguese printing of a card being slightly different. Obviously, when played, the Oracle uh, changes it into a, the correct size. Uh, I'm kind of just in the lower end of my curve. Uh, although I didn't actually pull out many of those cards that are playable. But because the higher end of my curve has powerful cards in every color, it's kind of important that I fill out the low end. In terms of removal spells, I saw a murder. And I think I have an unsummon in blue, and that's it. Oh, there's a rabbit bite. And I guess this vial of dragon fire. I don't know if there's any blade brand combos in this set. You can't give your ret 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 retributive wand death touch, unfortunately, because it needs to be a creature. But, uh, yeah, we got that. I think we can eliminate white. White had a couple of 3-2s, an Inspiring Captain, and God's Willing, so we're not going to be playing white. See a Corpse Knight. Uh, we do have this blue-white land, which maybe would be necessary to splash Empyrean Eagle. Okay, I'll leave Corpse Knight in. Maybe, we, maybe it comes down to it, we splash these cards. In terms of other color fixing, we got 
There's no artifacts, at least on my pool, that fix mana colors. And I don't recall me having green mana fixing. Nope. I don't think any of this stuff does it. So we've got these lands and that's it. So unlikely to be splashing, really. Murder and Rabbit Bite. I think my black was pretty strong. And obviously the blue has Dungeon Guy, some of the better stuff. Blood Burglar. Okay, let's... Let's pull out more of the... Uh, can we also eliminate red? Red had Fry was the only card that I didn't pull in, and that's because it's sort of... Yeah, let's eliminate red as well. See you, red. So I think we're somewhere in the Sultai colors, and it's just a matter of what uh, combination. So let's pull out the... Uh, the uh, other blue cards I'd be willing to play, as well as the other black cards. Anticipate. Oh, there's two of those. Don't I don't anticipate uh, playing too many of those, but pull it out. Brian thrown. Brian born cutthroat. Through two one flash. When you cast a spell on your opponent's turn, you put a counter on it, so I could cast some anticipates on my opponent's turn. We've got the cerulean drake. I don't know if I would main deck this. Metropolis sprite. I don't know if I'd main deck that. I don't know how important flyers are necessarily. I guess uh, Empyrean eagle would. Paranites ate those, if I could justify playing it off my Tranquil Cove as the only splash. And that was all the blue cards, basically. I guess I'll throw them in here for completeness sake, but it's not looking great. I might main deck and a gate. I don't know. Black? Oh, shoot. I'm playing all... <laughs> I've got all the black cards in right now, basically. No my... Don't have the Mine Rots and the Duress. I do like Mine Rot occasionally in Sealed. Alright, green... Well, I've got, uh, I don't know if I, I've maybe played a six mana, or six mana, seven, seven. I've already got a seven mana. Uh, well, let's just call it a nine, nine. The five, five, and two, two, twos. Yeah, at the end of the day, I think I'm just blue, black. Just because my green doesn't really solve any problems for my deck. It does have a little bit of mana acceleration here, but it doesn't have any offer much in the way of removal. It's got this rabid bite. It doesn't really fill out the bottom end of the curve. It's got a single 2-2 two -two vigilance, this guy. Uh, yeah, so blue-black it is. Um, I could splash something with my double green-black land. <laughs> yeah, splashing color fixing, not a good idea. I could splash rabid bite, potentially. Um, if I don't side splash green, I'll probably still play Temple of Melody just as an enter the battlefield tap Scryland. I'll get this thing out of here. Now, I'm, I've been spoiled by the deck building interface on Magic Gathering Online recently because you can do all kinds of stuff. You can sort by converted mana cost, etc., etc. This is this you can't. All right. Um, I don't think Empyrean Eagle is going to make it. We have one blue-white land. We do have a fair number of flyers. Epicure of Blood seems like he's flying, but he's not. I have to keep that in mind. I can't play too many expensive things. Masterful Replication, six mana, make two three threes. We've got Frilled Sea Serpent. We've got Flood of Tears. Scholar. These are... That's seven, and this bloody thing is eight. So, to kill like a five five, you have to pay ten life. And you draw two cards. Well, that's pretty powerful. You're so expensive. Uh, playing divinations, or as they're called in this format, ugh, winged words, is one way to. Give yourself a greater ability to cast eight drops. Flood of Tears also will let me play the Villas for my hand. Well, we probably have to we have to go for that and try and live the dream. Um, I don't know if I'm gaining life in this deck. 
uh, if I played Corpse Knight, which I don't think I will, I could maybe gain life. We've got this guy who's more than likely just going to gain life the one time, so I think Epicure Blood gets cut. Certainly like these. Uh, I like Cloud Conseer, Audacious Thief. It might be worth playing more flyers than I might otherwise, just to make the divinations cheaper, my winged words. What am I doing for... Hey, Chanson Man, how's it going? How am I doing for... Oh, this guy has lifelink. Only on my own turn. He's probably going to be more defensive. I think I'll play Bladebrand. Drop this. Drop that. How many... Oh, we have... Birder? Chance Man says, what have I been up to? Well, for starters, we went to the Magic Fest in Seattle to play Modern Horizons Limited, uh, primarily sealed deck. I went 5-3, and three, losing my win and end for the second day. Well, technically, I was 5-1, and one, and I lost my two win and ends, so that was <clears throat> upsetting. And then I played a Mythic Championship Qualifier for the next day, where I went 4-2, and two, and earned myself enough prize tickets to get myself 18 boosters of Modern Horizons, so I'll be prepared to draft some more. So that was Magic Fest, and then uh, my connection, I didn't leave Seattle until Monday late at night, whereupon my flight to Seattle, I had connected in Vancouver, my flight to Vancouver was late, and therefore I missed my connection in Vancouver, and then they put me on the first flight the next morning at 6 a.m., and then I slept in and missed that flight, and so I didn't get in a flight until like, until like 10 a.m., and I got home at like new, 1 p.m. on Tuesday, after the Magic Fest, and then I got back in a car again on Thursday to drive back to Washington State because I went to my brother-in-law's wedding in uh, Semiahu Resort, which is right on this little spit of land that stares back at British Columbia out in Washington State there. So that, uh, and we only got back from that on Tuesday again. So that basically took took out two weekends of traveling to Washington State, and, uh, and uh, it's been recovering and recuperating since then. This is a, not a good deck. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to succeed. Our ex, our cards are too expensive. Our interaction is too scant. But that is kind of what is going to have to happen here. I don't think there's much we can do about that but playing any other colors. Uh, we do have an occasional Death Toucher, and we got a few of these, like, two mana creatures to just be annoying in the mid game but aside from that we're uh, that's what we got right now i think we're definitely playing 18 lands in this deck um we're not going to play this jungle hollow but i will play the temple of malady so we have 28 cards in we have to get down to we have to cut six cards here uh question is is vile so let's put the spells the one side here and let's get the creatures together don't think i'm gonna main the cerulean drake it's the paralysis <laughs> you want me to cut from the right hand side how dare you sir how dare you we gotta play villas we got combos we got flood of tears bounce the only four permanents that i've somehow managed to play before turn six and my opponent's board boom and then put villas into play easy peasy <laughs> Scholar of the Ages, obviously, to... So we Flood of Tears back, again, the four permanents we've managed to play. And then we put F Scholar of the Ages into play, returning Flood of Tears to our hand, and Infinite Loop. Infinite Loop, Scholar of the Ages loop, gotta do it. I don't know how... It, we can't do it the next turn, we have to play a bunch of permanents again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Flood of Tears, not... Particularly a nice pairing with Masterful Replication. Do we have any other artifacts? <laughs> 13 mana loop. Well, it's, you, you get Scholar of the Ages for free! Because he put four permanents. He put the permanent bit, bit, put the, it's only six mana loop. Easy. Yeah, Masterful Replication and Boneclad Necromancer are not great combos with Flood of Tears. Um, how many creatures do I currently have? We have 13 plus 
Uh, Masterful replication. So we have 14 creatures right now. I think we cut the Sea Serpent. Although he's a nice blocker. But yeah, we could probably cut him. Uh, so that leaves us with 13 creatures. Yeah, okay. Uh, I kind of like playing. Well, let's see. This is all the spells. Look at that beautiful curve. So glorious. So expensive. Probably need to play Vile Dragonfire. Probably need to play Murder, Sleep Paralysis. I kind of like Blade Brand, although I'm slightly light on creatures, but the ability to just turn one of my creatures into a Death Touch or Cycle as well is, is nice. So I'll do that. Probably want certainly the first winged words. Can't split them up because magic arena things. Um, this is six mana to deal the first ping. I don't think. Well, we'll see. I doubt I'll need that. I don't honestly know how many one toughness things there are in the format. I'm playing one, two myself, but probably not that necessary to play that card. Unsummon. Uh, oh. Maybe I'll play one and summon. Let's get the negate out of here. Anticipate plays nicely with... Who is he? Metropolis? No. This guy. Brian Born Cutthroat, who does not fly, as I may have mistaken. I need to cut three things. No. Got the land in that mixed... I need to cut two things. Let's cut both anticipates. And just play the two winged words as our... Additional card drawing, plus we'll play the Bag of Holding. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Um, I don't know if we have the choice of play or draw. I can't remember for best of one, but this might be a take the draw deck, although our removal is so scant, maybe we just need to be on the play just to avoid getting run over. Uh, and actually, Winged Words is better on the play, because if you cast Divination as your first play on the draw, you'll have to then discard possibly even two cards. Or, you know, dis discard one card. So yeah, we'll take the play. 18 lands. Uh, I guess I'll allow it to suggest now. It went for 9 islands and 7 swamps, giving us 8 black sources. And it's concerned about the Dungeon Guys, Air Elemental, Flood of Tears, and Scholar of Ages, all double blue. Seems reasonable, although Murder is double black, and some of our cheaper cards are black. I think this is fine. We could do a... a what is this? Oh, it's missing a land. Aha! I was like, huh? Yeah, we just had another Swamp. There you go. Now we're a 9-9 split. Yeah, I'll do, it. I'll do that. All right. Hopefully we play against people who just forgot to submit their deck and just playing they're playing every card in their pool <laughs> because that's the kind of slow action we need I think this is best of one because you get but maybe not all right let's roll file of dragon fire Kind of expensive. Can't tutor. I didn't get the uh, blue creature that can uh, tutor up the vial and the heart piercer bow, sadly. What do we got here? We got Metropolis Sprite followed by a divination with Flood of Tears. Ready to back it up? Let's do it. We can even unsummon something. Hold up, unsummon on turn one. Red spells? Oh, we're doomed. Don't really care if this lives or dies, because we're just going to winged words regardless next turn. And if it dies, that'll give us a creature to exile with bone clan necrons. Three mana, three, three. That's not fair. Uh, I guess we can play winged words for two mana, and this that allows us to play our Temple of Malady this turn. So yeah, and then next turn we can maybe fathom Fleet Cutthroat to kill this thing. Is this... Yeah, so... And we're not going to block, so let's attack. We'll play the winged words. And we'll play our temple. Blade Brand. 
We have land land, so we can get to five to play Aeromental and Boneclad Necromancer. Next turn we can play the Fathom Fleet Cutthroat. Blade Brand we can maybe use in combination with this idiot to trade for something. I'm not opposed to Blade Brand. Also, we're making a 2 2 uh, zombie at some point, maybe? Yeah, sure, I'll keep a Blade Brand. If this counts non token permanence. Thing do. Other elementals gain additional power, and for four mana, you can make it a plus one plus one. All right. So yeah, I think I'm just going to again not going to bother leaving back sprite. We'll just attack. Player fathom fleet. Cut throat. Attempt to trade for something. If only this was Hearthstone, I could attack one of these creatures and then Fathom Fleet Cutthroat to kill it. But sadly, it's a game that I actually play and not Hearthstone. It's, it's Moo Yandling, my favorite. I have wept such a torrent as to scour the land clean. This is all her tears, wow. Bit of a crybaby. Oh, big flavor text here. As the ship approached, the jade totem rose high overhead, power ripped, rippled, eyes of stone glowed and crackled, out hissed the breath of the world, and a windstorm came alive. Did that exile that? You jerk. I wanted to, I wanted to exile him. So there goes the bone-clad necromancer play for this turn. So I'm just going to play Air Elemental. I was reading the flavor text. Ship approached, uh, power rippled, eyes of stone glowed and crackled, out hissed the breath of the world and a windstorm came alive. That's probably the original flavor text from the original printings of Air Elemental, which may go as far back as Alpha Beta, but I'm not sure. What's happening? Is this rabbit bite? Oh, well, I've got just the answer to that. Oh no, and rabbit bite? Oof. This is the issue with having really expensive cards. You get dunked on by this sort of nonsense. So I think what I'm gonna do here, now that this thing is dead, is I'm gonna boneclad necromancer, exiling it, and they're gonna unsummon the uh, creeping trailblazer, preferably after they go for some pumping action to hopefully slow them down. And we're gonna hold up blue. And this, and the blue could be seen as, oh, he's gonna hold up pumping the Metropolis Sprite. Especially when I keep highlighting Metropolis Sprite and my blue mana. Uh, yes, we'll take the action. I do not have any. All right. I'm actually just gonna, yeah, I'm gonna stay back. I think the possibility that I double block Centaur Courser is also pretty nice. Ideally, they go for like another pre-combat rabbit bite shenanigan. Uh, okay, so this is just a 0-3. Oh, because it's elemental, it's a 1-3. I see. This has to attack each turn? No. Can't block, that's its downside. So, again, I really want this guy to pump before I unsummon to get maximum tempo. But I also want to trade for Centaur Courser. And ideally, I maybe get a second use out of bone Boneclad Necromancer. So what I'm going to do... Yeah, I guess I just... Double block Centaur Courser. Uh, make sure I put a stop here. <laughs> Double block there. I hope they see the line of, duh, my opponent blocked badly. I'm just going to pump here and kill you. And then I get to unsummon it. Curses. All right. Okay, they didn't kill the smaller guy. 
Flood of Tears can be used. Final Dragon Force. So this guy's going to be one power when this gets replayed. I guess I can take one. I can Vial of Dragon Fire it only if he doesn't leave the mana open. So basically, will I, am I willing to trade five for one? Yeah, I think I am. Keep playing lands, don't see reason. I have Bag of Holding in my deck, that'd be a reason not to. I don't really want to play the Vile so that I don't know they need to hold up two mana to keep Creeping Trailblazer alive. This is a sorcery. Oh boy, that's... That's... Scary. Six, five minutes. Jeez. Well... I guess I have to... To kill this, I have to double block. Well... <clears throat> Was that a good draw? I think it might have been. we going to be a point. Could this go to the face? No. going will be a point short of killing the opponent next turn. <clears throat> Might have more maniacal rage nonsense. Oh, it only gives additional power. To yeah, okay. That was another decent one. I can make... No. <laughs> if I had a second Masterful Regret Replication, I could make a lot of copies of Vile. So double blocking uh, Fire Elemental with three threes is fine. And I have seven mana, so I can attack, pump Metropolis Sprite, and then do Masterful Replication. This will actually have six power because of this stupid idiot. That kind of sucks. I could single block and blade brand, but I couldn't I couldn't pump if I did that. Maybe he doesn't play this thing. This is an elemental, yes. It's in right there in the name. Fire elemental. I guess I'll kill off the tokens because I have this flood of tears. Um, maybe it should have triple blocked there, now that I think about it. Because a single removal spell breaks up this double block. Yep, yeah, should have triple blocked. I guess not. Opponent sort of miscounted there. He was already killing both my creatures. Essentially, he just traded another card for no value. Good to know. And now I actually get to Vile Dragonfire. 
this guy and play my Cloud Kings here? I have the mana for all of it? Oh, I do. What a glorious day. Oh, no, I'm, I am a mana short. Maybe we'll... No, I, I got enough. Let's play this, draw our card. That could not have worked out better for me, I don't think. Oops. Let's make sure we tap correctly. So we can still pump our Metropolis. Right? And actually, they have to chump the Boneclad Necromancer because he's lethal. And I f even, I'm even protected from an act of treason uh, because I have the Cloud Concealer Chump Blocker. Well, that combat went pretty well for me. Thank you, Feral Invocation. It served the purpose of A, discarding a card from their hand for no value, and tapping themselves out so that Dragonfire could kill their tutu. Look at all these things. I've got experience, I've got gold. Exhilarating. Well, do we want to make any changes? No, deck's perfect, obviously. That enchantment is a good one to know about. The th I think it was three mana flash. Give a creature plus two plus two. That's pretty good. I normally don't. Uh, creature auras. Normally, as we saw with my unsummon, they normally get punished by bounce and removal and things like that. But one like that that you can at least deploy at instant speed uh, and use it as a fancy combat trick that stays around is, is kind of nice. And I. I did forget from my initial playing of Dominaria on Magic Arena that people love their creature auras, so on someone it was probably a fine main deck inclusion. What do we have here? We're on the draw, we got slow hand. We have a paralysis. Yeah, I'll keep it. Maybe try and do another situation where we try and trade a 3-3 for their thing. Oh, we even have a one drop. Oh lovely. Maybe we'll even get a hit in and gain a life. Oh, I'm very upset. That's uncommon? Jeez. Uh, if it was discard, I might consider discarding a creature, but since it's exile, I'll just do something. Oh, nice bag of holding. I won't be doing a lot of looting for the moment, because I need lands in order to cast the spells I already have, unless I want to get rid of even more expensive cards. And I don't even get the benefit, again, of Boneclad Necromancer, because the card gets exiled into bag holding. Maybe a bit of a non-bow here. Will I trade Vampire for Fenlurker? Yes, I probably would accept that trade, so I guess I'll just attack and gain a life. And I'll play my bag. And now I have a creature in the yard for my Boneclad Necromancer. Um, I may beg of holding away Fathom Fleet Cutthroat. We shall see. The, the good news is at some later point I can get all the cards back. Well, Vial of Dragonfire might be bad. Here's what we're going to do. We're just going to play our land. Say go. Now we're definitely going to activate this, and depending on what we draw, we may exile the Vial. And what the opponent plays may exile the Vial and may not. Had I known I was drawing a Vial of Dragonfire, I would not have traded Vampire of the New Moon for a 1 1. Basically, I just want to hit my land drops. So that makes a 2 2. Well, now I do have at least a target for the Vial. Let's hold it up. Okay, there's the land, which we really want. We kind of want Sleep Paralysis as well. We want this stuff. So I guess Vile gets gone for now. Again, we get to uh, retrieve it at some later point. There's Winged Words, we'll be casting you later. Just play our 3-3. Three, three. Oh, 
hope that he uh, gets to trade with Centaur Courser. Nope, getting rabbit by it. All right. Whenever you see them highlight their own creature and then yours, that's a bad sign. Okay, ideally we just draw land. No. Okay, second ideally we draw a land. So we can winged words following this cloud can see here. <laughs> Obviously. So I can at least uh, trade with the wolf token. Which I shall attempt. Netcaster, I remember him. It's when it blocks, it gets bigger. Nice. Okay. Here we'll play this guy. Oh, what? Oh, I didn't realize you can exile from your opponent's graveyard. Cool. Alright. Defenses are up, hopefully. Hopefully not more rabbit bites. It appears there's more rabbit bites. Taking five. Uh, I guess I'll block the pup. Maybe he's got... Maybe he specifically wants to grave through it back. But I don't know. Let's block it. Okay, Blade Brand I can kill this thing with. So I guess I'll just... Winged words to maybe draw a land. Oh, there's Villus. Uh, another land we can cast him. If they kill my zombie or pump their 2 3, I die here. We'll block before we cast Blade Brand. So that even if they remove a creature in response. Oh, Dungeon Geist, that's a nice one. This is only if it blocks a creature with flying, this growth. It does not if it's blocked by a creature with flying. So, Dungeon Geist will probably keep us alive through this turn. What? <laughs> uh, so he needs another forest? So if he draws the forest, we die. Actually, that's not true. Oh, did I miscount? We've only got seven, this is eight. Yeah, that's a lot of mana. So, yeah, I guess we hope we, actually we don't die if you draw the forest, but it's not good for us. We're gonna play the Dungeon Geists, tapping the Wake Root Elemental. Is this for as long as he's allowed? Yeah. Winged words. Pray he doesn't draw forest. Here's they did not. Uh, okay, we have more things we need to kill. <laughs> oh boy. So now a forest is lethal, and this guy I'm tapping twice is lethal. Uh, we've got Scholar of the Ages, can get back Blade Brand. We have exactly one murder to deal with both of these things. Oh boy. I could pay six life to give one of the minus three, minus three. I guess killing them very quickly is basically our out at this point. If we attack Nekester Spider, we'll just block this and we'll die. So no attacking with Dungeon Geists. So we're just gonna play Villus. Now at least we have something that can block a 5-5. Five five. How much was this? This thing was two mana. So an unsummon would slow it down. We can get back Vile of Dragonfire and use Villus's ability to kill it if they don't deal too damage to us here. 
Masterful replication. Oh, actually, Sleep Paralysis turns this thing off, because he has to tap to use his ability. And we can't do anything else. So yeah, we'll Sleep Paralysis this idiot. He'll activate his ability in response. Go to one. Oh, and I draw cards. Forgot about that part. <laughs> Combo! Um, yeah, I guess we'll play Metropolis Sprite. So we have to block Netcaster Spider and a 5-5. Five five. Boop, boop. I'm assuming he'll draw 5. So we could just assume he won't draw 5-5 five five and just attack with Villas to put him to 12. Uh, we'd block Dungeon Guy, so we'd chump the 5-5. Five five. And then the next turn, 8 plus 3 is only 11, so we'd be a point short of killing him over two attacks. So we have no way to deal an additional damage. We can beg of holding this island away. So. Takes his whole turn. Yeah, let's start swinging. We're dead to forest plus removal spell. Although be somewhat expensive to do both of those things. There's the forest. So Metropolis Spray will have to chump. Oh no. Uh, so you can kill my Dungeon Geists here, meaning Netcaster Spider can attack. Or are you going to kill the 8-8? Eight eight? Uh, Scholar can get back what? Bladebrand? He's killing the 3-3, three three. yeah, yeah. Maybe I should have uh, done this beforehand, because if I drew... Uh, Unsummoned. I might have wanted to use it there. Yeah, I definitely would have used it, so... Uh, with Chump? No, no, no. Pass the blockers. So this thing is untapping. So we have a 5-5, five, five, another 5-5, five, five, a 2-3, and a 3-3 three, three to worry about. And I'm only dealing 8 here. I can make... Um... Four blockers this turn with flash. So uh, six plus two is only eight. We have ten mana total here. I guess I'll play the land. We can still loot, and I can even make Brian Throne Cutthroat into a three-two with the Masterful Replication. So I think what we're gonna do no attack. Assume opponent will make a 5-5. Five five. Oop. Does it untap it? It does. Okay, sweet. We'll stop at combat. Pass. Let them swing out. Play this. Play this. Block the legit 5-5, five five, block a 3-3, three three, block a 2-3, and I guess I'd rather keep a 3-3 three three round than a 3-2. So I'll just chump the forest with this. Does this thing have trample? I should check. Trample? 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 No trample. And now we're a point short of killing them. Uh, okay, it's 2-2. Two two. Uh, so I'm just going to Scholar back, probably Masterful Replication. There's nothing I can Scholar back to impact this turn. And 
And attacking with my 3-3 three, three doesn't accomplish anything because I can't kill this turn. And getting back Dragon Fire could kill this, but not the opponent. So I'll skull her back the uh, make two three threes. Could skull her back winged words, but I think I'd rather just have masterful replication. So they go. <laughs> oh yeah. Thank you, Masterful Replication. Saving the day again. Look at that. Gold, experience, wins. Yeah, how far do I have to get to j secure gems? Ugh, I have to win six of them? What a brutal. That, uh, five mana, five, five. I think he's five mana. That makes more five fives. Pretty impressive card. For sealed, pretty restrictive mana costs. I would have felt silly if I didn't see the line to tap my opponent's. Uh, Pinger thing there with the uh, enchantment. Q times. There's some modern getting testing together. That sounds interesting. looks pretty good. I'm always on the draw. I'd like to be on the play once in a while. But, uh, playing Cloudkin Seer and then following it up with a Sleep Paralysis is pretty nice. Dacious Thief is also pretty decent. Uh-oh. Man Accelerator. This makes a 3-3. Three, three. So, I'm going to assume I don't get many attacks with the Audacious Thief. Uh, actually, I don't know, we'll see. We'll play him. Like, I can draw a card at any time with Cloud Conceer. But maybe, just maybe, does Sink of Vigilance? No. Plus one, plus one, that's it. Because what may happen here is the attacks of this 3 3, taps Leafkin Druid and all their lands for some giant creature, and then I get to sleep paralysis of the giant creature and then attack with Audacious Thief, uh, lose a life draw card. I'll be down 4 life at 16 life with still having a 3 3 uh, killing me, but it's something. And uh, it's possible, well, now that they've anticipated, maybe they just. Leave back uh, Wolf Rider, Saddle, Wolfy, Wolf Boy here, and so that my I can't draw a card. Oh, like a Centaur Course? Well, it's essentially what I predicted, except the creature that they played is a little itty bitty, the Centaur Courser. But it's probably still worth sleep paralysising it just to draw myself a card. And no attacks at all. Well, in that case, I'm alright with them being very precautious and. Uh, because I'll be drawing cards no matter what happens. I don't think I need to Sleep Paralysis Centaur Courser. Double blocks right now aren't great. I would lose both creatures. I think I need to hold on Sleep Paralysis for larger things. I can eventually find three power creatures to trade for my opponent's three power creatures, so I think I'm just going to play... Uh, Cloud can see here, and we'll hold up blue in case I draw my red summon. I can use it to kill this wolf token. Ha! It's so nice when you get rewarded for your uh, 
for your plays. That's great. Maybe we'll disrupt a rabid bite. Ideally, they use rabid bite on wolf token. And we really get him. Okay, I want to. Uh, I'm really glad I had that on some. We want to bounce this before this resolves so they don't get a 2 2 wolf. That was a good unsummon. We, we basically just traded for a card. We gained a life, alright. Uh, so what am I going to do this turn? I can double winged words. I don't think I need to sleep paralysis. Yeah, I think we'll just winged words, see what we see. Nice blade brand, vampire. So what's their turn going to be? This is three to equip. Uh, they're a t creature away from having four, making this green green. Like what I could do is attack with Audacious Thief and Cloudkin Seer. He blocks Audacious Thief with Wolf. I Blade Brand, Audacious Thief, killing that. He's got a Sed Scorpion, this guy, and a Center Corsair and a Wolf Rider Saddle. And then I also play my Vampire. That all seems fine. Cards, kill their token, get a drop Marita. Play my little vampire. I, and then I still have a winged words to follow up. I think I want to try and use murder next turn so I can scholar for the ages get back the turn afterward. Um I'll just start by attacking with Masir. Oh, some winged words action. Uh, we got air elemental. I think we're just gonna do here is play the temple. Man, I've got, look at this hand. I've got eight cards in my hand still. What turn is it? It's turn seven? Uh, I'm liking this format so far. Uh, I'm gonna play temple melody, scry like a land to the bottom. Oh, baby. Keep that guy on top. He can clean up this board pretty quickly. Say go. We'll hold up murder. Got a vampire. Now that we've drawn... Uh, or now that we're drawing this guy... Never mind. So we'll have seven mana next turn for Scholar and then eight mana the turn afterward for him. So playing that now, despite it having flash. Are they gonna rabid bite my vampire with it? Oh, they just wanted additional mana. Okay. Really want them to like equip the centaur courser. <laughs> I'm just going to block. What else could I get if I don't use murder now? I could get back unsummon, winged words, all kinds of stuff. So it's not like I have to murder something. Uh, okay, just drawing cards. It's probably whatever he's got there I'm actually going to want to murder. So instead of murdering, I'll just... Er, and Sorry, instead of playing Scholar of the Ages, I'll just play Air Elemental. Doesn't use my mana as efficiently as it could. The turn after, I could like sleep paralysis plus murder. See, so, yeah, I don't think anything here is worth murdering. Phyllis is gonna have a field day on these two dudes. Um, I think I'm just going to attack. Obviously, if they have a rabbit bite, they get me. My air, mantle, air elemental may just croak here. 
Why? I don't know why it makes like pig noises. That didn't seem quite right. It should be more like whoosh, wind noises. Okay, sleep paralysis like non creatures? No, it's not creatures. Alright, take my one. Hope they don't ninjutsu something. Wrong format. Boreal Elemental. Spells your opponents cast that target this. Cost two more to cast. These both target. Um, so I could just play Villas this turn. Or I could wait when I could play Villas and use the ability in the same turn. Uh, so this is a 5 mana murder or a 6 mana sleep paralysis. Let's just play Island. We have 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 mana. So we can't do murder plus sleep paralysis even if we wanted to. Um, we could just play Villas. I kind of want to play Villas and use him in the same turn in the event that they like kill him. <clears throat> I think I like having the instant speed a little better, and this is a creature I can happily just tap. So I think I'm just going to sleep paralysis, boreal and elemental. Just gonna swing for six, taking three of the four damage back. Okay, this is uh, so there's the four damage then. That means I can no longer villus Brian Thorn. What? Oh man. <laughs> Creature you control becomes the target of a spell. This thing fights up to one target creature you don't control. Well then. I guess my air elemental is getting fought. I don't have to, like, murder that. I could just, like... It's when... I could just play Villas... Eat the said scorpion and go on with my life, or play Villas even threaten to shrink Gargos on offense. Gargos. Let's do this. Swing with air elemental. I might uh, want to chump. I guess you can, uh, reading Gargos, I think you can target his own... You can target him with your own spells to, like, giant growth him and fight your opponent's stuff. Well, it seems to be a bit of battle cruiser magic, which is suiting my deck just fine. <clears throat> People enchanting their creatures with auras. It may be the best on summon I play this format. And the best playing around me drawing on summon that I'll play this format. We'll sh we shall see. I think this is that cool lotus land that, uh, and it has the battlefield to sacrifice two lands. It's cool, cool art. Probably one I'll use on YouTube uh, thumbnails at some point. I really hope they update the Magic Arena deck builder, or at least sealed deck builder in particular at some point because it's so much worse than the magic online one that's like one of the f like magic green is much better program than magic online in various respects to almost too innumerable to count but there are the handful of places where magic online's done it better and the deck building interface is one of them yeah oh finally on the play uh got some expensive stuff but cloud concealer will draw a card we got vile dragonfire to kill something small yeah let's do it and we'll probably just play Violon too. 
which is uh, not necessarily what you want to do. Let your opponent know there's a vial seeking them out, but I think we might need the mana, given how <laughs> expensive our hand is and our deck in general. Would like to draw, start drawing some swamps so that murder is potential play. So you can only have a ho I'm just going to assume they don't have a Chandra, and we're just going to use all our mana right now and play Cloudkin Seer. There's a nice play. I don't really want to trade Cloudkin Seer for their 2 2 ground creature. I certainly will get punished if they enchant this thing with something. Or equip it. Well, so they can have two two twos, or they can have one three three. You know what? They might as well. Oh, or uh, three three and a one one, right? Kind of like this cycle of of uh, lands that do things. Fortunately, Cloud can see is really bad at double blocking because he's only got two toughness, and I can't actually cast Blood Burglar. All right, and I can't cast Boneclad Necromancer anytime soon. Might be my mana coming back to bite me here. For the one time I'm on the play, I end up uh, not hitting my land drop every turn. Potentially, still haven't missed your land drop yet. Hmm. Not really winning the race. What I may do is block Chandra's Ember Cat and file it. I'm not thrilled to do that. I think what I'm going to do is this. And then we're not going to use the vial until they're end step so that they can't. Uh, Re-equip the sword if they have no other play. Well, I should probably kill that instead. So in essence, I ended up just jumping. Ooh. All right. The, what's going to happen is I'm going to draw my Black Temple as my Black Land. I'm calling it now. If I draw Swamp... If I draw Swamp Swamp, I think I can win this game still. Their Chandra's on the Ember Cat. I wonder if they have a Chandra. Okay, Island... Island could still do something. <laughs> I'm going to take uh, 6 here, go to 6. Uh, not liking my odds. The good news is I get to play around sorcery removal spell with my Masterful Replication. This thing is hazy. Okay. And it can uh, make my stuff. So I'm taking eight, going to four. And I can block two things and I'll take three to one. As long as I draw a land. Oh, shucks. All right. Well, there you go. No divinations. I did have the one additional card draw, but uh, there's my mana curve coming back to bite me. Many decks can do a lot of stuff with four lands of play. Not my deck. I assume that London Mulligan is live now. I didn't think that hand was worthy of mulliganing, but uh, it's something to keep in mind. The first time I <laughs> I played like almost an entire draft on Magic Online before I mulliganed, because hashtag lucky, hashtag skill. Um, and then when I finally did mulligan, I was like, huh? Oh, yeah, M London Mulligan. And then I realized, oh, maybe I should be mulliganing more because how good the M London Mulligan is. It is a pretty sweet mulligan. This is kind of a fun way to experience the format. Like, again, I'm, it, it, just about every card that gets played, I've, I'm seeing for the first time. Or maybe the, not quite the first time, but I can't quite remember it. 
Uh, we're on the draw. I'll keep this. I would like to start drawing some of my uh, divinations, but it's, it's got hopefully murder with another swamp. It's got the sprite. It's got boneclad necromancer. Hopefully, after we trade the sprite off for some two toughness creature. And we have a turn to play in the event that we do draw some of our divinations. I feel like this is a reprint. Is duress. I hope he doesn't take winged words. He might take murder, which would probably be smart. Duress is not that often main decked and sealed. Mind rod occasionally in the gate, probably even more so than the other two, but I don't often get duress. the murder. Oh well. Play my swamp, play my sprite, and next turn if sprite lives we can wing words and play our temple. Sprite is not... no, that could be a shock in this format, right? No, fine. <laughs> shock is in this format. What do you know? Soren. So, does this do anything if they don't have a vampire? Not really. Um, I can't play this next... I'm just gonna play Land and Wing Words. And then next turn I'll play Temple of Malady and Wing Words again. I'll probably lead with the words before the temple. And hope they don't have too many vampires. Yeah, so let's Winged Words again. And then we'll play our temple. Bag of holding. Uh, no, I think we're good. There is a creature in the yard, so I can do this guy. I think I want to make two creatures here because I have a feeling my opponent is holding even more removal spells in their hand. And I'd like to start pressuring Soren. Next turn I'll probably just Masterful Replication. Uh, color me surprise. So this guy, let me read this thing again. He can put a vampire from his hand into play. Is that like 8 mana thing a vampire? <laughs> Do I have to worry about that? So I kill this and all other zombies I control, etc. etc. Alright, two removal spells, Dan. This is classic red black sealed. Play all your removal, lose the guy with the card draw. I think I'm just gonna play the replication, use all my mana. Next turn maybe I can Air Elemental plus Blood Burglar, or maybe Dungeon Geist plus Blood Burglar. He's found a vampire. And it's gonna be bigger. I can dungeon geist it, I guess. I guess not a great idea, because then he can sacrifice it. I bestow a slight curse. Huh. Well, I guess I'm doing this. Plus one to sacrifice it? It's like a dungeon geist it, then he'll sacrifice it to kill dungeon geists? Or maybe a different planeswalker? <laughs> I guess we can hope. The 
yeah, I'm just gonna dungeon guys. So I guess we can hope that we can knock Soren dead before that happens or something. I don't know. I certainly don't want him to draw another vampire. That would be the worst case. Expecting them to plus one, sack this, kill this, or maybe play a second vampire, sack that, kill this. Alright. Oh, that's pretty nice when you're empty handed. Well, we should probably sleep paralysis that. Deal the minimal amount of damage to Sorn to get him out of the way. Vengeance will come for you one day. And hope they don't have too many more giant dragons. We did put our bag of holding on the bottom. Uh, we've used our winged words. So we're kind of low on card draw from here, but we still have an air elemental. Flood of Tears is looking real bad right now, because I've got a, although I, I retrieve Sleep Paralysis, I've got a bunch of tokens that I don't really want to bounce. Swamp Go, I like that. Vial of Dragonfire, well we can just hold on to that. Possibly trade a token plus a vial for some creature my opponent has. Four. Yeah, we got exactly 12 here. Hopefully we get to deploy it. Oh, glorious. Glorious vial of dragon fire. Who's got the dragon fire now? For the Xaxes. Classic red black seals. Put all your removal spells in. Trade one for one. Get beaten by divination. La Critiara Bibi. I'm guessing that's the black the creature black black or something like that. We got our Audacious Thief, we could have filed Dragonfire to hopefully get it through, and if it dies, we got the Bone Clad, love this hand. And we're gonna draw. Got Cloud Seer as well. Another spot where I'm just gonna play the Vile on two. We'll play our first Swamp in case we draw Murder. No. Two one ones, eh? In this game. I'll play this guy. He gets to attack. If I'm him, I attack with him, leave these two things back. Maybe? Because he's got vigilance. It's actually kind of annoying here. So, no block. Zone audacious. Um, what I don't want to have happen is him it, Steadfast Sentry, the Audacious Thief. I could spend my whole turn sleep paralysis, paralysis, I can't say words, sleep paralyzing the Steadfast Sentry. I could spend That'd be all my mana. I could just play the Cloudkin Seer. I think this thing is going to be annoying enough that I am going to do that. And then I'll... So I could do that and then attack with my Audacious Thief. Then he'll double block with soldiers and then my opponent will attack with his Audacious Thief. 
Because if I leave back my thief to block his thief, he draws a card, I don't draw a card. I think I like the world where we both draw cards more than the world where he only draws a card. We get an island. And the, the world where I don't attack at all, I also hated. So my turn, my opponent attacks with a dangerous one to be. Oh, that's pretty good, actually. Well, well he could have done that from the outset. To not even have it tapped. Alright, I take five, he draws a card. I don't know why this is not tapped right now. He's looking at my graveyard. Whatever for. Oh, maybe he's got his own boner necromancer? It's my turn. I could Cloudkin Seer and kill this thing. Yeah, I probably want to kill this before he draws any more cards. So I guess I'll do it on his upkeep in case he's got more God's Willings or things like that. At least make him use the mana on his turn. If he's got Pump Spell, then bummer, 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 bummer. But, uh, say la vie. A scholar for the ages. Okay, kill your thief. <laughs> oh, it's the worst case, it's bomb spell. So now I take more damage. I can still trade with it, which I guess I'll do. Uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's lethal, baby. Nice. Oh, I had all of the shenanigans. Alrighty. So if that doesn't happen, if I do it on my own turn, kill that, pumps it then, attacks, still pacifies my guy, attacks for seven, I'm at two, then I play my guy that makes two blockers and I still die, so, and I possibly die to just his other pinger, so. Mm. Oh. The play so the using it on my turn plays better around pump spells because at least they don't have the power and toughness enhanced on their turn when they're attacking with it. Doing it on their turn plays better around like God's Willing and stuff like that, and like things that give hexproof because it forces them to use their mana on on the other turn. Uh, another audacious thief turn. Let's try and. Be audacious. Maybe have a murder to get him through a couple times. Probably unlimited. It's way more common that they would have just generic pump spells. So I should have maybe gone for it on my own turn. That's the other problem with dragon fire. Is your it's an onboard trick. Your opponent sees it in play and gets to play around it. The fact that they had gods willing to also knock off my uh, enchantment was real beating. Audacious Thief into murdering my opponent's thing to get Audacious Thief in and then following up with two three threes seems pretty good to me. I like that it shows that what the token looks like. That's kind of neat. Oh, Evolving Wilds is in the set. Sweet. Uh, I guess let's play Island. I like the, the art of Evolving Wilds. There's that cat again. Oh, you pesky kitty cat. Uh, I'm just gonna a thief. Trying another swamp would be cool so I can murder plus play vampire on the same turn. I will also be perfectly alright with just attacking with thief and trading with never cat. Oh, frost nice. Um. I 
I'm just gonna play the vampire. I don't think I'll necessarily have to murder anything. It looks like we'll just be trading with something with our audacious thief. I'm curious what the opponent is splashing, whether it's the green or the blue. Wonder who's that's killing. Okay, see you, audacious thief. You're truly, 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 truly audacious. Could just take this hit. Take this hit, play air elemental. If air elemental dies, then I'd go down to 10. Yeah, I think. No block. I'm gonna swing back in a life back and hope the air elemental does it. But I'm pretty sure these two golems are really gonna crimp, gonna crimp in their 2 2 plans. I still don't like the sound. So they've already used the vial. I wonder if they also have the other thing. This is going to make it very inviting for my opponent to attack me with the issues. I wonder what I could have here. No one plays around rares. What could I possibly have? Nothing. If you have the gate, then this obviously doesn't work. I will block both. I might get punished by something. Eh. Kill my arrow level. You got it. I think I'll just attack with a squad. And I'm gonna scholar back my my uh three threes. Can murder anything that gets in the way. Um, so I guess I'll masterful replication. So murder is five mana. I could murder right now and swing for nine. Yeah, that seems better. Have we secured gems yet? We're certainly knocking some quests down. Chief District Legionnaire, alrighty. One more win to secure gems. Let's try and get there. I'm enjoying playing blue in this format. There was Corset 2014, six years ago, was a uh, Corset format that really rewarded you for playing blue. I believe there was six mana instant draw four cards, it was an uncommon in that set, and it was like slow enough that that card was playable, and therefore uh, blue was awesome, because you, you just drew lots of cards and got to do a lot of stuff, and these like long grinding games where eventually killed your opponent. All the other colors, were a lot worse than blue, though, <laughs> and so it made the draft form a little brutal. Wait a second, I just played this person. Were they the person that beat me? Are they the white, white player? Uh, I'm on the play. I'll keep it. And it, that, that does mean we get to play winged words. I'm gonna look for an island with this thing. Do I want the second winged words? I think they might be the white black player who like ranch me. I'm gonna bottom the second wing words. Yes. Alright, there's island, so we will get to play Dungeon Geist. We'll probably Dungeon Geist their 3-2 Vigilance if they have that again. Alright, them not having anything yet is nice. Yeah, I don't think you can like give this thing protection to un unlock it from Dungeon Geist, so God's Willing is not going to work this time. I do know about their God's Willing because of. Uh oh, they're going to get all their battalion foot soldiers? How many of these do they have? 
one. Or one additional if they're willing to dig up. Peace? Well. Why did it grow? Oh, because this thing died. Right. Um, uh, well. Oh, I thought I got confused. I thought I had a different creature. I don't think I want to sleep paralysis that necessarily. I can just kill it with a 3 3. Don't think I want a flood of tears it, so I guess I'm just playing Blood Burglar. Hey, Forgotten Dog, how's it going? And actually, can God's Willing give protection from artifacts? I don't think it can. We do know he has plus 2 plus 2. Digging out yet another one? No. Ah, another Masterful Replication Scholar for the Ages kind of turn. This thing has lifelink right now, so I guess I'll just attack. If he uses his trick now, that means he won't have it for... For, uh... Oh, that means I don't even deal the damage. Boo, I don't even get the, the life gain. He bottoms. Alright, well, I think Masterful Replication into Scholar for the Ages back Masterful Replication should be enough to kill my opponent this time. My opponent should be highly suspicious, but again, it is a rare. So it could happen here. I double block and he, like, plus two, plus two is this one. We'll find out. He's already used the God's Willing. Plus two plus doing that one? Well, if you're gonna keep a tutu around, or a creature around, you should... Well, I guess this way I have no golems, but this way you only have a tutu. You could leave it for, we both have three threes? Eh, I guess this is fine. What do I want to do here? I don't need to sleep paralysis a 2-2. I could just trade for the Briar Thorn Cutthroat. I can't cast my 7-drop. I don't really want to cast this 6-drop, and I can't cast this yet. I really just want to Scholar for the Ages back, Masterful Replication, and recast that. So I guess I'll just say go, and we'll flash in a Briar Thorn Cutthroat to trade for their 2-2. Because I know they've got the black white knight so i do want to preserve my life total and i know i've got a seven drop and eight drop so i just want to survive master splicer makes a golem all right um we're gonna scholar Get back my replication. I can take a hit or two for four from this golem. Well, that makes Flood of Tears a little bit better. But it does give back their pacifism, so I guess it's not that much better. Can I do both? Yeah, I can play this and the Master Pro Replication, so I'll do that. They know about Master Pro Replication. I'm just gonna block with my 1 1. Or, or the first God's Willing. No, they have two of them. All right. Sure. I've, I've successfully gained zero life against my opponent with my two life-linking blockers. I'm still at 12. Oh, hello. So... I'll have to discard this card. Upkeep, then draw. Yeah, so they'll have to discard the last card in their hand. 
Sleep Paralysis is pretty good against Rotting, rotting Registaur. I can also just play my 8-8. Probably smarter to play my 8-8 than the Sleep Paralysis, so we'll do that. I get punished if the last card in hand is Murder. Well, hopefully it isn't. Are you kidding me? Is it? <laughs> oh. All right, we double block the four four. Take seven, go to five, and then we just sleep paralysis. Seven six. Can't believe they had murderers the last card. It's too funny. Too funny. Guess we do this first to make sure it resolves, because we'll have to keep back our golem. If they have God's Willing number three, then such is life. I actually still have to keep back golem, because I'm at five. Don't want to do a die to a 1 1. Or three 1 1s for that matter. Can't believe it was murder. It's too funny. I'm gonna hold the island because we have bag of holding. Oh, bone clad necromancer is a good one. Now we can actually attack with our air, air, air elemental. Exile their I don't know Italian foot soldier. Can't believe it was murder. It wasn't going to be a great turn for me. Well, I could have tapped the Redding Registaur. What is this nonsense? I'm going to double block Audacious Thief. If he gives it, if he blade brands it, I get maximum punished. No blade brand. I think this has a fathom fleet cut through. I can still attack with air elemental. Flooded tears would actually allow me to recast something. I could do the loop. <laughs> He would get back his Redisaur. He would lose the soldiers. He would get back a 3-3. Three, three. I would lose a 2-2 two, two for no reason. Don't have to Flood of Tears yet. And they would get back their Pacifism, which they can y then use on my Air Elemental. Now I no longer have four non-token permanents. We might just decide to alpha here. No. Sprite is nice, it's an additional blocker for one ones. And it's a point short of lethal next turn. Still holding my swarm for bag of holding. No alpha. File Dragon Fire. Swing. It's possible. Eh, with Vile out, I think this is fine. I don't have any way to deal with direct damage to my opponent. Vile does not count. Get got here if they have some sort of like smiting helix deal three damage directly to your opponent. Phew! We beat Lucrezia BB on the second attempt. 
Gem secured. Not bad for a pre-release. And uh, we also got a lot of quests done at the same time. Let's get that last win. Oops, ah, where we go? Home, play, resume. Ooh. Unfortunately, I'm, the biggest disappointment of the last couple weeks is I missed the M2020 preview event because I was traveling. I was in a car somewhere in the middle of British Columbia at that time. My sweet, sweet full account. Or I could have jammed with weird elemental decks or something. Oh well. On the play... We've yet to cast a Flood of Tears because it's always been net negative for us. We do have the Winged Words. We do have a 2-2 if we can draw black mana. I think I can keep this. We may have to Flood of Tears defensively. Hello. This card's decent. It's really annoying. Ah, there's black mana. I think I'm just gonna winged words here. Three three defender, alright. It means blood burglar is a lot less interesting. I think I'm just gonna play a vial. And kill this Spectral Sailor right now before he can start drawing cards. I, it's another turn where I'm not playing black mana, which will probably bite me. If he has uh, infu or Infuriate or whatever. Plus three, plus two for a single red. It gets me a little bit. All right. Oh, you caged somebody? Nice. All right, I'll uh, wing words again. If we draw a swamp, maybe we play Blood Burglar. But again, there's a three-three defender on the other side, so it's no real point. Briar Thorn. I could deploy and then like Blade Brand on my opponent's turn at some point. Could just play the Temple. Why just play the Temple? Yeah, I'll take a Sleep Paralysis. Pretty slow game. We both have like eight cards in hand. Oh, there's green. Risen Reef. Uh oh. Okay, that's that's all that's gonna happen. Okay, I I seem to recall some crazy stuff. Go oh, maybe people were scape shifting with this or something. No, that doesn't make any sense either. I don't know. Someone was doing dirty things with the Risen Reef, and I'm scared. So I just play Blood Burglar. Maybe we go like Brian Thorn, Brian Born plus Blade Brand at some point to uh, grow this into a 3 2. Real exciting stuff. We could Brian Born plus Blade Brand just to eat Risen Reef. Prisma. Put another target elemental. If whenever another creature control dies, you gain one life. If the okay, this thing could start getting annoying. So he's gonna put a counter on this. Um, if I flood of tears, everything they'll just get another card draw with this guy. Oh, how does this work? Oh. That's what happens. Whenever any elemental enters play, you get to keep looking at the top card. I don't like that. Okay, I want to kill Risen Reef. Alright, it was just a card. So I don't have to worry about blade branding. So I'll just block. I haven't drawn my... So this is a 3-3. Three, 
three now. I haven't drawn my two two golems, so I could just scholar back a divination, which is probably what I'll end up doing. There's bag of holding as well. So I have to play this and this guy. Bag of holding is a permanent for the purposes of flood of tears combos. Getting rabid bit. Ouch. Uh oh. And elementals you control gain haste on end of turn. Yikes. So this is four mana. This thing is three mana. This thing is two. You can just go, like, play this and play this again and hit me for three. I am not adequately prepared to defeat what my opponent's doing here. Going awful wide on me. At least not with what I've currently got in hand. Is it only element? Yeah, I guess we're going to... I'm going to Flood of Tears, then an Unsummon one of the Elementals to only take two. But then he's going to play this, put another counter... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I've got lots of timeouts. What I could do, Sleep Paralysis this, Unsummon one of these, take one, two, three, four. Yeah, I guess so. Can I wing words as well? Uh, only if I draw a land. So I guess I'll just play Bag of Holding. Alright, Sleep Paralysis. Summon never. Five. I need my make two three three or make two creatures dude or make two three threes guy. Dudes and guy. The Raider is also gonna kill me. It's Cloudkin Seer. And then I can also winged words afterward. Ooh, there's Dungeon Geists, and this guy. Well, if I can live through this turn, which is possibly not a given. I block here and Blade Brand. I take one, two, three, four. Go to one. This is, and I have three cards in hand. Probably can kill my Cloud Conceer. The big enchilada reduced to ashes. Scholar of the Ages. Oh, do I not have, I may have not, oh, I don't have that Deck Master on, my apologies. Oh, well, look at that. You do get two cards. You're right, I should have gotten both um, winged words instead of just the one. Good call. Uh, I don't know if it would have mattered. Unfortunately, we are dead. I've already used my unsummon. Bag holding can't give me anything. This uh, scampering scorcher was quite the scamper. A bit of the elemental stuff going on. Three color elemental deck. Got me good. I was just. I'm used to this card only getting back a single one. The fact that you get two, that's impressive. All right. Well, good catch there. And uh, overall, not bad for the pre release with a deck filled with eight drops and seven drops. We had some pretty sweet games and uh, got our gem secured. Up three packs and some rares. Not bad. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and windmill slam the subscribe button above to see more like it in the future. Thank you so much for watching. You can find me streaming Magic Arena every weekday morning at twitch.tv slash blinkymtg. Hope to see you there.